doing a wonderful uh, Skype interview for a party in Brooklyn. So I'll bring you back to the Brooklyn in the house! Well, that's, you know, uh, I'm sitting in my office. I haven't had a call <laughs> look to the day, and now I get two in 10 minutes. So sorry about that. Oh, no problem, no problem. All right, so let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. would keep freaking otherwise, so. <laughs> so uh, you also have a new book that uh, just came out, and I it's do. called... I, may I show it to you? Yes, yes. All right, I, uh, this is, it's called uh, Dark Shadows Return to Collinwood, and I'm really excited about this book, um, because it, it's five decades of Dark Shadows. We've got an awful lot to celebrate this year, if you think about it, and all of us contributed to the book. Uh, Jonathan Friend wrote, wrote the foreword to it, and David Selby uh, contributed a poem, and Laura Parker, who everybody knows is my best friend off camera, <laughs> Laura Parker wrote a wonderful piece. And, uh, and I wrote all about our experience of, of going to England to work with Johnny Depp at Pinewood and, and uh, do our cameos in the film. So that's, that's the book, and, uh, and, and I'm told it's flying off the shelves at Barnes & Noble, so right. that's well, great news. Excellent. So you can purchase the book at Barnes & Noble's. It's on sale now or any other bookstore. Uh, I think okay. Amazon also. Full, full of pictures, <laughs> and they're wonderful pictures of, uh, you know, the whole cast and, and uh, everything that we did for... Oh my gosh, it's not just the 1,225 episodes, but it's the two films that we did. Jonathan and I started the first one, House of Dark Shadows. Yep. And then we Mark, that it, they did the other, oh you did, did the other one. And we've got a wonderful event coming up. We've got a double feature. Uh, we're, we're, uh, one night next week, uh, right, right before the opening of the, the film, we're gonna show House of Dark Shadows and immediately following, it'll be the very first screening of the Johnny Depp Tim Burton film. So that'll be exciting. And Laura Parker and I are going to be there, and you know, all of the other actors. Excellent. It'll be really fun. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will have a great time. Oh, yes. Well, we always do. You know, we're really close friends. Nancy Barrett is flying in for it, and, uh, and Terry Lacey will be there, and I think Chris Pennock, and, you know, all of us. And uh, I just want to tell the crowd that tonight we have a copy of Catherine's book here, Return to Collinwood. It is, it, is, it is autographed by her, it is signed, and we are raffling it off to one lucky winner. Uh, you can immediately following the video chat, if you see Jennifer, our hostess, she has the raffle tickets. You could fill out a raffle ticket with her, one per person, and at 2 a.m. we'll be doing the drawing, and we'll call your name. And you'll come up and claim your book, and we'll take a picture for Catherine's website. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love it. Have you got another question? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, so obviously, we most of the Dark Shadows fans were we, we all were saddened to hear a couple of weeks ago when the passing of Jonathan Fred on April 13th, and he played the iconic vampire Barnabas Collins alongside you on the show. Um, your characters of Maggie and Josette were Barnabas's love interests. So you worked with him very closely. If you would like to just share some of your fondest memories of working with Mr. Fred. Oh, you know, I, I, um, I think Johnny Depp said it the best. He said that Jonathan Fred was elegant and ma magical, and I, and I couldn't agree more. He was just a lovely man to work with. And you know, when he came on the show, he hadn't done television either. And even though he was in his 40s, just about the same age as Johnny Depp is now, uh, when, when Jonathan originated the role of Barnabas Collins, uh, he was brand new to the medium. And, and I remember that first day that he came on, I think that we all saw him in the, you know, the cape and the ring and the whoops head cane, and we thought, oh no, <laughs> what is this, ghosts and goblins? And, um, but Jonathan felt very much the same way. Uh, he was a classically trained actor. He graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London in 1945. And I think, you know, he had done a lot of stage work. And then to come on and, and play a vampire, when vampire 
movies were really sort of uh, drive-in theater yeah. sort of things and, and B movies. So I, we always called him the reluctant vampire, but in fact, that refers to not only the fact that he was a little reluctant to play a vampire, but he also created that character that who despised the curse that made him harm others in order to survive. And the way he played that, I think, is what um, Tony Depp is referring to when he talks about multi-layered. And in a recent featurette that was just released by Warner Brothers, Johnny Depp talks about the fact that he had always wanted to play this role. And, and in fact, many years ago, I was up in Vancouver shooting an episode of, of um, 21 Jump Street. Yeah. And even though I didn't work with Johnny Depp, uh, the moment that I walked into the makeup trailer, everybody said, oh, Dark Shadows, that's Johnny Depp's favorite show. And somebody like they born of his Collins. Well, you know, he's referred to this again and again, and I think that I think that the thing that, that drew him to it was the fact that Jonathan didn't just play it as a evil, you know, monster. He brought uh, all of those layers of sensitivity and vulnerability to it, and and it was scary, and it was funny too at times. I mean, it was humor. So I really loved that Johnny Depp did you know, said all of those wonderful things. And when we were in Pinewood, we were there for three days filming our cameos. And I was there at that moment when, when Jonathan and Johnny Depp first met. And they both had their wolf's head canes. Johnny Depp was in full makeup and looked wonderful. And, and Jonathan, who um, was never phased by anything, very down to earth, and he just stood there taking his time on a sound stage of time, which is taking his time, eyeing Johnny Depp and checking out the makeup. And, and finally he said, I see you've done the hair. A few more spikes though. And Johnny Depp looked at him and said, we're doing things a bit differently. <laughs> which, which I thought was so much fun. And I, and I said to Johnny then, you know, all of us really appreciate the very generous comments you've made about Jonathan. And Tim Burton, who was standing right behind Johnny Depp, the two of them both looked at, at Jonathan and said, we wouldn't be here without you. Right. And I think that that's the most wonderful, fitting tribute. I'm so glad I was able to put that in the book. I'm so glad that I can be able to say it to everybody now, because it was, um, somebody said that it was like a passing of the torch. And perhaps it was. I haven't seen the film, so I don't know how well it's been passed, but I suspect that uh, it's been handed off very well. I think we're in good hands. Okay. <laughs> that was a long answer, yes, but, it was. Uh, it, but I tried to cover 45 years. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he was definitely, definitely a memorable icon. We'll always remember him as Barnabas Collins. Well, yeah, I just, I just love the man. He was, he was indeed wonderful. And uh, we, we have a candle under the screen that you're projected on today, lit in his honor with his picture under it. So he, well, that's, he is here with us. Uh, you know, he wrote a foreword to the book. Yeah. And that my last contact with Jonathan was, you know, talking about the foreword. So and there are so many things that are just gratuitous. Uh, the, the fact that the book did come out before he passed away, and... Um, and the fact that we had this wonderful opportunity to all four of us, two of us starring in the first film, two in the second film, the four of us to appear in this in this new production. Uh, it was things don't generally work out that well in life. Yeah. That's what's the picture. Whoa! I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> keep breaking. I'll just have to say <laughs> hi. <laughs> yes. Oh, Rosemary, I'm going to have to call you back because I'm really excited for you. And, and I'm going to ring you back when I get off. All right, then I'll ring you tomorrow. Thank you, Rosemary. I'm so glad you rang. Bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everybody's like, you call me. Now my brother will be calling me. No, ever, no, uh, that's great. I'm so sorry. That's, but that's no problem. But it's right in my office. I should have been, you know. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm just going to backtrack. I'd like to say to the fans, if anything.
Well, first of all, um, <laughs> I love to laugh. And I watched the trailer the first time uh, on my computer. And, um, and I laughed out loud three times. I mean, the thing where he's brushing his teeth, and the thing where he says, tiny songstress, and the thing where Michelle Pfeiffer says, a Chevy. Um, I mean, those things just make me fall on the floor laughing. Um, and, I, and I think, for, actually, there's a, there was a lot of humor when, when we were doing Dark Shadows, the, the, um, the series. But we didn't, even though we didn't take ourselves seriously, we, we took things seriously because it always makes it more interesting, more fun, you know. I mean, we had to play it for real. And, and I think what they're doing for a feature film is appropriate. I also think, from those who have seen the film, that the other elements are there. I've read the script. The other elements are there in the script I've, uh, that I've seen. Um, a fantasy, horror, and, um, and I think romance. Those are the, really the, the other three elements that, that have to be there for Dark Shadows, or to get the tone of Dark Shadows right. I think they will be there. So I think I'm in very much of a wait and see mode. I think we all are. Hopefully we won't be disappointed. Well, only time will tell. <laughs> I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think that it is, I think that it is very gothic in nature. Dark Shadows at its core is gothic. It started out as a, a gothic romance, what we call a bodice ripper, um, in, in uh, you know, uh, romance literature. And uh, uh, it started out that way, and then it, it moved into horror and fantasy, and, um, and uh, the bloopers certainly <laughs> added some humor. Um, so I think, I think those things have to be there. They will both. Excellent. So uh, we have about 10 minutes left. I think I'm going to open it up to our audience if they would have any questions. Or if, even if you have any questions, you want to just come say hi to camera, you, uh, hi to Catherine. You can stand in front of the camera and say hello and say you know some words of praise if you wish. But anybody like to come up and speak with Catherine? We have, we have, we have one here. What's your name, sir? Michael. We have Michael coming to say hello. Just, uh, just speak into the mic, and the camera's right there. Hi, Catherine. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, how are I you? I am. I'm good. Um, I just have a question about um, the actress who plays Josette in the movie. Is very She's not very well known in the United States at all, and I, I believe you met her when you were at Pinewood, and I was just wondering what your, you know, what your opinion of, of this actress was. She looks very good in, oh, the, in, the, in the ads, but I just, you know, we don't know her here at all. No, she's Australian, and she's only a year older than uh, than I was when I originated that role. And she plays the um, the young governess, not you know as as Maggie. I started off the waitress, and then I became the governess. So uh, she's playing uh, now. She's playing Victoria, the governess who becomes Josette. Uh, they had to streamline the the story a bit. She's charming and. Very fragile looking. I remember when I weighed 103 pounds, and I suspect that's what she weighs. I mean, she's just a, a lovely, beautiful little creature. And, uh, and I love the way she looks on camera. Do you like the way she looks? Um, yeah, she's adorable, um, but she doesn't speak a lot in the trailer, so we just, you know, don't have a sense of what yeah. she sounds like or, you know, what the character's like. So. Yeah. She's uh, very soft-spoken, and, and she seemed very, um, oh, very gentle. She seems like a very gentle soul. I've never seen her act before, so this will be interesting. Okay, thank you, Catherine. You're welcome. Thanks Yay. for coming tonight. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Do we have another question, or somebody would like to say hi? Yes, we do. What's, what's your name? Uh, hi, my name's Jay. We have Jay. Hi, um, step, step in front of the camera. Thanks. You you're, you're wonderful, and that's what I want to say. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Oh, great. And I apologize for all of those silly phone calls. Oh, no problem. Thank you, Jay. Is there anybody else who would like to speak with Catherine? Anybody at all? No? Everybody's very shy. <laughs> no, don't be shy. You don't have to be shy. <laughs> I think I think that's all of our questions. You can come up and say hi too if you want to say hi. You don't have to ask a question. <laughs> so she can see that you're here. <laughs> I can sit down. 
Oh, here. This is my co. This is my co. This is my co DJ at Arkham. This is Jose. He would like to say hello. Uh, hello. Hello, Jose. Good to um, see you. Good. Good to see you. Um, actually, I'm starting to get into Dark Shadows. Being that what? Eric, Eric's the, the the major major fan, <laughs> so that's why we're doing this night. So I started watching the series, and so far from what I'm watching right now, it's really great. You know, uh, I always the theme song is like stuck in my head every time something eerie goes. <laughs> I, I love it so far. It's it's I, I'm looking forward to oh, continuing great. watching the rest of it. But I just want to say great work. You know, every time when I when I see when I see your character, I hear the howling wolf. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like looking around. Oh, you know, and it's 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 great. It, I always laugh because the doctor's trying to figure out. It's just a rare blood disorder. It's just this blood disorder, and I just sit there laughing like so. Like it's like what kind of blood disorder. She's a, she's banned by a vampire. But it's just it's just so funny. But I I love it. It's, See, what I mean, it is funny, isn't it? There is humor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of humor in it. But it's really great so far from what I've, what I've saw, seen so far. We look forward to doing this and uh, checking more out. You're a devoted fan. Yes, yes, yes. Well, there's a lot of, lot of episodes, but so far I'm up to... Oh, when they broke into the doctor's office and stole those, uh, your blood samples. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I have no recall whatsoever of any particular episode. <laughs> oh yeah, but so far from what I've seen up to that point, it's, it's really great and I'm looking forward to checking out more. I think so, we have some more fans. Yes, so we got one more, we have more people. But thank you. We have some more fans that would like to say hi. Well, what is your name? My name's Sarah. Sarah, we have Sarah. Do you want to say hi together? Here, take the mic and you can step in here. Hello. What's Hi! Name? My name's Nancy. Thanks Hi. for doing this interview. Hi! This is pretty awesome. Yeah, we really like your brooch. Yeah, we really like your flower. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, so, do you come to this place very often? No. no, no I think just, it's our first time. Did you time. just become because of Dark Shadows? No. We no, just, we just stumbled in here kind of blindly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nancy's roommate said, we know this place up on the street. They have hamburgers, but they don't have hamburgers. They don't have hamburgers. So <laughs> but so we came in and then we saw you up on the Skype screen. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah this is awesome. It is fun. Can you believe that we can do this? It's so amazing. Yeah, do you do this a lot? No. Oh, I've never done it before, which is why I've had all of these phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll figure out a way to handle that. Uh, your friend Rosemary's going to feel like, you know. Oh, I know. Poor Rosemary. I'll, I'll have to give her a ring. And Suzanne. And Jim. And <laughs> I can't believe I had that many calls. Oh, oh well. That's life. <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this. It's really awesome. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you. Would anybody yeah. else like to come up and say hi? Everybody's giggling there. <laughs> Oh, it's a tab room. Jen, if you want, if you want to say hi, you can stop filming and say hi. Well, stop filming on its own. What's really funny? funny. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting my cat Daphne to jump up here any minute. Uh, is that named after Daphne Harridge? Oh, aren't you clever? No, actually, uh, I don't know where I got the name, but Daphne suits her. She's definitely a Daphne. This is this is my lovely wife Jennifer. She's our hostess. Hi. Actually, Hi, Jennifer. I got into Dark Shadows actually because of him. I love you. I love your character. You you you're, you know you're amazing. Actually, I wanted to ask um, if we're going to be seeing you at any conventions anytime soon. Yes. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't you all come to uh, Terrytown, July 28th? Uh, because we're going to be there for a big celebration. David Selby, everybody is going to be there. Oh, It'll be wonderful. really fun. Yeah, that's yeah. The, uh, the big Dark Shadows Festival at Tarrytown that's on July 28th. That's the big Dark Shadows yeah. Festival, yeah. That, that's actually the, uh, the the same day as Arkham, so you can come here for the after party. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. No, I think not. That's going to be a pretty big day. <laughs> no, I, I, meant, I meant anyone who goes could come here on their way back to the after party. Oh, <laughs> But you're welcome to join us at, at, if you wish. Maybe we're inviting me in for a beer or something. Anybody else like to say hi? Oh, you know. We have a couple minutes left. 
I think I think that that's about it for four rails and playing shot. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, have, I actually have one more question for you. Um, for me, for, when I got into dark shit, I, was, uh, I got through it through my mother. Um, and it was in syndication on PBS at that time. And I remember she was just watching it one afternoon, and I walked into the living room, and I happened to, to see this the show. I think I was about eight years old. And I, I saw Jonathan Frid appear on the screen, and I saw he was so mysterious how things sent her, like, very, very... Something drew me to it. I can't put a finger on it, but something drew me to it. And I remember about a year later, that was when the 1991 Revival series came out with Ben Cross, and it was on at prime time. And I actually wasn't really, I wasn't allowed to watch it because I was young and, you know, my parents didn't want me staying up that late. But I had a TV in my room, so I would sneak watching it, unknown to them. And uh, I just wondered what your thoughts were, uh, what you thought about the, the 1991 series. Did you see it? Um, you know, I was, I was filming in England. And uh, so I only saw a portion of one of the, of the first episode, and I saw it sometime later. Uh, I never actually watched a whole episode of the series, and I didn't watch it when I was on at the time. So I, can't, I really don't have a comment about it. I, I, from what people told me about it, it could have been just a, a mammoth success if, right. if, if there hadn't been the war. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, because that, that really destroyed it. Yeah. And, uh, and the other thing, of course, that happened, um, uh, I think, is that there probably wasn't uh, as much romance in it as there should have been. Right. Um, and I think that, that was another element. Right. I, I actually I thought the romance was actually pretty pretty on key and appropriate. I, I would recommend it. I thought it was great. I was very upset when it got canceled. I remember when uh, I remember when I when when I found out it was being canceled. I actually like went around with a petition, and, but nobody takes a nine year old kid seriously, so it didn't really work out too well. Uh, but uh, the um, I don't know. It was a shame. Stanford is defended uh, very badly because he felt that it was perfectly cast. He was terribly happy with it, and. Uh, uh, and it just didn't happen. But, but anyway, it's in the book. Uh, it's a matter of fact, wonderful photographs from the 1991 series. The photographs are beautiful. They are, they are. Um, all right, so I think we're going to wrap it up now. Um, Catherine, thank, thank you. you. And uh, this, is, this has been fun. It's the first time I've done this, and maybe I'll do it again sometime. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Thank, thank you so much for joining with us this evening. Thank it was you. A I think she just got, got just...